What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? What is going on? What is Edu doing? Oh my God. I Yesterday, I thought everything was on the up and up. I'm seeing uh, we're going to go in for Latvia. We're going in for Declan Rice. Kai Havertz seems to be getting closer and closer as those things are still progressing. But today, not only do, are we looking to get rid of Granit Xhaka, but it looks like Arsenal might be looking to sell Thomas Partey this window. What is going on? Guys, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get into everything that we need to talk about today because there's a lot that we need to talk about. Don't forget to, to, to like that goddamn video and leave a comment down below. Would you sell Thomas Partey this summer transfer window? Let's get into it. Here we go. Yes, 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 people, what's going on? So I, it's a wonderful Sunday evening and I was just chilling on, on the internet, looking around, seeing what, what everyone's saying about the transfer news and everything else. And unfortunately, I couldn't do a live video for you guys. So I'm going to be doing uploads more often throughout the summer transfer window as I will be going live once again later tonight uh, to discuss everything on Vibes from the 6th around 9 o'clock. But right now, let me just show you guys what's happening with Arsenal and what Fabrizio Romano had to say about Thomas Partey because this news has shaken me and it's and it has shaken some of the Arsenal fans uh on their opinions of what direction we might be headed in as we are uh at, as Fabrizio Romano tweeted three hours ago understand that there is concrete chances for uh Thomas Partey to leave Arsenal this summer the club are interested and there is discussions about his exit. His contract expires in 2025. No extended, uh, no talks to extend as of today. And Arsenal's priority remains to be Declan Rice. Now, my question to everybody in the comment section is: Would you, or would you sell Thomas Partey? And I would think that majority of you guys would say no, as we are going to be in the Champions League next year. We're going to be competing on all fronts next season. We need all the players on deck and I don't want to lose Thomas Partey I personally I don't want to even sell Jorginho or Granit Xhaka but I understand getting rid of one of them as they all three of them are quite old and you don't want to keep all of them on the books for too long now Thomas Partey could they be getting rid of Thomas Partey this window potentially why would they be looking to get rid of him I personally don't know. It could be some of the legal issues. It could be something something uh, to do with something else. But there is a lot of rumors around Thomas Partey potentially departing from Arsenal. And it is reported that the person who could be coming the other way would be Romeo Lavia. Now, let me just show you guys what it had what they had to say about Romeo Lavia. As this is what they were saying about Romeo Lavia. Arsenal have, uh, have concrete... Uh, sorry, Arsenal have strong interest in Romeo Lavia with the relationship in his camp talks around uh, took place and remaining uh, timing will be crucial as Chelsea remain interested. So, uh, and Manchester United appreciate uh, Lavia and still not advancing. Man City do have a buyback clause only void uh, valid in 2024 as Southampton would try to sell him this win this summer over the 40 million buyback clause that Man City have. Romeo Lavia would be the replacement for Thomas Partey, but I don't want them to go and sign a replacement. I want them to go and sign him fully uh, and, and keep Thomas Partey so we have both of them. It doesn't make sense to get rid of Thomas Partey to buy a 19-year-old to come in and play in his position. You need Thomas Partey to help embed and, uh, and give this guy time so he doesn't have to deal with playing week in, week out, every single day, Champions League, Premier League, Cup games. No, it does not make sense. We are trying to compete in the Champions League. We're trying to compete in the Premier League. And in order for us to compete on all fronts, we need squad depth. Why would you sign two midfielders when we already needed midfielders and then get rid of Granit Xhaka and Thomas Partey? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. This right here is absurd. I am slightly concerned at this moment in time if this is the direction that we might be headed in. If we're if we're going to be if we're just going to be selling players and not really bringing in the quality that's needed to compete on all fronts, that is my concern at this moment in time. Thomas Partey could leave. Thomas Partey could leave this uh, this during this transfer window. That's what they're saying. But 
I'll need to see more before before I go before I uh I go crazy or, or see anything. I'm sorry for the phone calls in the middle of the stream. <laughs> what a mess. Um now moving on from that, as I, I, I feel like I've covered it. I think everyone would take Romeo Lavia, as 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 we all agree. But the thing is, you won't you don't want to sell Thomas Partey. You don't want to sell Thomas Partey. One second, where is it? Yeah, you don't want to. I'm sorry. This is this is not as you can tell. This is this is basically live pre-record. You so yeah, Romeo Lavia right there, and then the Thomas Partey news was right under it. So yeah, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to sell Thomas Partey just to buy Ra Romeo Lavia. I want to keep Thomas Partey for at least one more year. Maybe give him a new contract extension of uh, of of two years, and then and then give Romeo Lavia that that time to embed in and just get used to the system and everything else. I asked a lot of people on my Twitter if they would be interested in selling Thomas Partey and surprise and no, to no surprise, everyone just says, no, 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 we can't sell him. That's, that's what everyone's saying as they, as, as I would understand, why would anyone want to sell him? We would Thomas Partey, even though he's been poor in the back end of last season, he's still a key piece to this team. And I don't think we should be just, up and moving him out that that quickly we should we should have some level of understanding that we need him going forward and of course Declan Rice we are still busy with the Declan Rice transfer that is still our priority as a club to get the Declan Rice transfer over the line and we are also talking to um we are also talking to what's it called um Chelsea over Kai Havertz. Now, just to let you guys know about the Kai Havertz situation, it looks like Arsenal are very close to getting Kai Havertz over the line. As yesterday, we were looking closer and closer to be pushing for a 60 million pound move for Kai Havertz. Arsenal are very close to uh, 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 joining. It depends on the final offer as Arsenal are, if they're willing to pay up to 60 million, then he's ours. If we're not, he's not ours. And as of right now, Kai Havertz seems to be the main priority uh, outside of Declan Rice, of course. Now there is a there is a couple conversations. Uh, sorry about that. That's not that's not relevant right now. But yeah, here's another one. They're saying that uh, Kai Havertz prefers to to come to Arsenal over going to uh, the Bundesliga and going to Bayern Munich. So that is interesting that he prefers Arsenal over Bayern Munich. And for Petit Romano, about three hours ago, said that it's very clear to all parties involved that he wants to join Arsenal. The green light has been given for the contract. Personal terms have been agreed. A new bid will be submitted very soon. And it is understood that they hope to get the deal done after the international break. This is this is what's being reported at this moment in time about the Kai Havertz news. Personally, for me, I still don't understand why we are so heavily linked to Kai Havertz. It, the transfer is, is, is somewhat confusing to me. I never understood it. But hey, it's going to happen regardless if we like it or not. Um, and if Mikel Arteta can do something out of it, make it work, it would be beautiful. But if it doesn't work out and Mikel Arteta really, it's going to be something different. It's going to be, it's going to be, uh, we're going to become a joke if, if it doesn't work. If it works, Mikel Arteta is a genius and we got to call him a specialist. But yesterday I was with Lewis. And Ladies and gentlemen, Arsenal look to be bidding around 60 million for Kai Havertz. And I have a Chelsea fan here to see what he has to say. Lewis, what do you got to say about this, man? Time is money. Money is transfers. Transfers is targets. Caicedo will not pay for himself. Please run the 60 million ASAP. Generational talent. <laughs> for fuck's sake, why are we doing this? Why is Arsenal buying Kai Havertz? What is Kai Havertz good at, Lewis? Um, Can he play in the midfield? What? Defensive transition Kai Havertz or... Basically, to say the Chelsea fans don't rate Kai Havertz, and they 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 they're they're well and ready for him to move on, and they're quite happy with him to move on at this moment in time. Now, with the Declan Rice news, Elka Gunawa news, uh, not really too much going on in that in that realm at this moment in time, as we are seeing here that Declan Rice. Um, uh, the deal is in a uh, is in a critical uh, is critical these days to avoid any surprises. A new bid uh, has been discussed after the eighty million pound bid was rejected. Personal terms have been agreed. Understood that Man City are also after Declan Rice as of last Friday and are waiting for Ilka Gundogan's decision on if he will stay or if he will go. And if Ilka Gundogan leaves, he might most likely be going to Barcelona or Saudi Arabia. Those are his main uh, uh, options at this moment in time. So yeah, at this moment in time, it seems like Arsenal. Next three signings are going to be Kai Havertz, Lavia, and Declan Rice. 
And at this moment in time, Latvia is just very strong interest. And in the case that we let Thomas Partey go, he would be replacing him. We also have Declan Rice, who could also play in that DM position. But my question is, are we signing Kai Havertz to play in the eight? What are we really doing with Kai Havertz? And is that the plan going forward with Kai Havertz? Because that seems to be the, uh, the plan at this moment in time. It looks like that might be the situation that we're going to be going for going forward. Now, just to let you guys know, you guys all love fo Premier League football. And next season... Premier League football uh, uh, in Sky uh, with Sky Sports. The announcer for next season for Sky Sports will be uh, P uh, Peter Dirk, uh, and he uh, he is an, an amazing announcer. We all know how how he's such a great storyteller and how he just makes uh, brings everything to life when, uh, in when he speaks. So I'm excited that Peter uh, that that uh, Peter uh, Dirk will be taking over. Um, he will be taking over next from next season. Let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. So yeah, as you can see there, Peter uh, Peter Dark will be taking over uh, from Martin Tyler at Sky Sports. Emma Smith Rowe uh, won't give up on his Arsenal uh, at his time at Arsenal. He'll continue to fight for his place as he's getting in shape for next season, and that's a positive there. Kai Havertz, of course. Arsenal Arsenal hope to seal a deal of 60 million for Kai Havertz. That's another headline. Um, Newcastle plan to uh, to Newcastle plan to move for Chelsea fullback if Arsenal don't let Kieran Tierney go. That is an interesting take right there. We're gonna have to see what escalates with that. Um, and yeah, this is this is the main. These are the main stories for today. This one here was something that really shook me. That made me think like, why would we? Why would we do that? I was just wondering why would we? Why would we let Thomas Partey leave? Why would we let Thomas Partey leave to bring in Romeo Lapia? It don't make sense to me personally, but that is another thing there. Now, there is some news with Lokonga. Let me get that up. Uh, I've seen some news with Lokonga, and I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, apparently, Burnley are going to be interested in Lokonga. And Lokonga, uh, Lokonga, uh, Burnley's, uh, Burnley are interested in Lokonga and are going to target Lokonga. This was about nine hours ago. We heard this from the Daily Mail, so we could maybe make a sale, but that's just that's just that. And there's not really too much else going on. Everything else has pretty much been spoken about. But yeah, that's that with Lokonga. And of course, Balogun could be sold also. But at this moment in time, there's no concrete links to anybody else. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. It's a quick little update. Let me know in the comment section. Would you guys sell Thomas Partey to bring in Romeo Labia? Comma, don't worry too much about that gun rice yet. We're still in the driving seat. We're going to most likely still get that deal done. Um, Kai Havertz to Arsenal seems closer and closer to be getting done than ever. And yeah, that's it for now. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys on the next show. And I'll be back live tonight at 9 p.m. Do check it out. Peace. Here we go.